Hey there, everybody. Uh, right now, I'm going to show you another little quick video of one of my little think lines here. This is a uh, 1 gigahertz Transmeta Crusoe. Uh, if you've never heard of that CPU before, that's it's under here. It's a special CPU that came out many years ago. And it what it does, it, it kind of runs um, DOS and Windows uh, programs, or ex really technically what it does, it, it, it emulates a an intel x86 uh instruction set um by running the code through a translation layer anyway there, there's a I'll, I'll link the wikipedia page for the processor below so you can read more about that particular cpu what, what it does is it's it's um it actually is a very power efficient way to run um code it, at least it turned out to be but with some performance hits because it is doing like an emulation of sorts so yeah um what i wanted to show you here is what performance you would get in windows 98 running something like this so this is uh like i said the uh, one gigahertz transmeta crusoe which is high high up there i don't know if they made a faster version or not i'll i'll check quickly the wikipedia page but uh, it's it's high up there in performance uh, for this particular uh, processor. It also has 256 megs of DDR memory right here and an embedded ATI RAGE XL. So I'm going to show you some 3D graphics on this. I also find it interesting that this little motherboard has a full-size PCI Express here. I, You know, fitting something inside this case that would actually go into this PCI slot is nearly impossible. So you would actually have to literally drill a hole on the side panel there but um some people do it <laughs> you know if you go to phil's computer labs you can you can actually see some of that being done um yeah like i said this is a viet chipset as well and it's the nice thing about this one um is that it also supports sound blaster emulation in pure dos which is kind of cool um and you can plug in a an ide um, SSD here. This is an IDE interface, like the ones that you would find in, a, in an old laptop that, you, that has an IDE hard drive. In this case, there's a small module with uh, 8 gigs of space, which is pretty much uh, all you need for a lot of Windows 98 things, unless you, you're trying to, to store, you know, a dozen games. Anyway, let me go up here to the operating system and and show you how this thing works. Or actually, before I do that, you know, one of the things that you'll see in some of these guys is that there is no PS2 port. I have had really good success with this uh, USB to PS2 adapters, and um, and they work pretty well because uh, Windows 98 um, doesn't always detect USB devices, and you'll get stuck with um, a prompt and no way to hit enter. So sometimes using one of these adapters helps. I'll link, uh, uh, I'll, uh, I'll put a link in the description for these guys if, in case you wanna get one uh, from my Amazon store. Um, they're, they're really useful to have on your workbench. So anyway, let's, let me go up here and show you the computer itself running Windows. All right, so here we are. I have a Windows 98 SE and it's got the plus theme going on here so you can see here it's got some interesting stuff going on um, in terms of themes and colors um, you can go to properties here and uh, I think appearance oh my god I forgot all about this I think you go to the themes and control panel it's the Microsoft Plus add-ons desktop themes and you can select you know different uh views so how about we go underwater a little bit let's do that oh that is so cool maybe a little bit blue <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, I, I wanted to show you that because I, I found that I, I used to love that in Windows. All right, so now I'm going to show you um, 
a benchmark. So let me go to 3D Marks 99. And I'm recording this in real time. And we're going to do a new 3D Mark. And I'm just going to go through this and show you that the performance that you get out of this. So you see here, you get like 14 frames per second at 800 by 600. I don't even know. I don't, you know, I, I love watching these. And it turns out that a lot of these games don't exist. Like this is just done for the 3D benchmark, but these games never existed, I, I don't think. Uh, they're just like first person shooters or first person, but they're not, they're not based off of real games. They're like a 3D rendering. In real time, of course, but uh, yeah, I mean, for a little thin clients running ATI Rage, it's not horrible, but I do see that that it's it is a little bit choppy there. What is this? This is synthetic CPU. All right, let me uh, skip forward to the results here. And here we are, we, we get 1,206 3D marks and 6,584 CPU 3D marks. So yeah, uh, it's, it's a performer. It doesn't get 10,000 3D marks, but uh, it does get something. Um, all right, so let me, let me close this off here. Oh. Now you can hear the sound effects. Let me let me let me bring it down here. <laughs> Whenever that's when I when I open the the start menu. Okay, so now I'm gonna play. I guess what I can do here is show you some DOS games. I can show you Descent running. This is like the hardest game to get, right? I have a special re controller that was made for this game, but... Yeah, well, this thing client plays this perfectly fine. Let me see. Ah, oh, so many. Maybe if I press escape? Okay, here we go. Yeah, you see how... Per Really good performance. Oh, come on. Oh, I'm gonna lose. Because I'm playing with one hand. Oh, I can use the mouse? Oh, yeah, the mouse. Break the Where is that? I got it. All right. So if I press, oh wow, that's cool. Anyway, that's descent running in the little thin client with full music and some pretty good performance so yeah i'm gonna put the uh, link to my ebay store in the description i sell these guys uh and which which are are make they, they make pretty good windows 98 and dos machines and um and yeah i recommend getting them if you get your hands on one or you can just buy them directly from me i, I usually have a few for sale on on my ebay store and on the bottom there anyway uh, check out the, uh, the my other videos. I have some other stuff that is that is interesting with uh, some other vintage computers and and uh, tech tips and things like that. Um, and I hope you enjoyed this. Let me know in the comments what you think. And uh, till next time.